hello, I'm the ambitious scribe trying to find and make some sense in this crazy world. I have an all true story for you. Um, it kind of happened a few days ago, but uh, we have to go back in time to when I was a kid. It's all true, and it proves the point that if you give out good, good comes back to you. Let's go back in time to when I was a kid and um, Christmas time. And like, dear Father Christmas. Um, Please can I have a skateboard? It, it wasn't a one-off request either, but somehow those letters were intercepted. Instead of getting a skateboard, I got books and pens because scribe's going to scribe. And um, then when I was a teenager and um, I wanted to skateboard and I just I got a Saturday job, but it wasn't an insignificant amount of money and the money that I earned wasn't quite enough to get a skateboard. But... Um, I was the most skateboardy, non-skateboardy person, if you know what I mean. I had the sidewalk surfer, um, skateboarding is not a crime, doodled all over my books and such. But, you know, the years passed. And then a few years ago, I was out with a friend of mine. It was her birthday. I brought cake. We were in a particular area of town near a bagel place. I said, I've always wanted to skateboard. She said, oh, really? And then we walked, turned around the corner and there was a skateboard. So I was just, oh, my gosh. And I picked up the skateboard. It was like, oh, my gosh. And it even had my favourite colours on it. And it was just like, I've always wanted She was just like, really? It was like, look, look. I was like, yay. And we went into this bagel place only to have an incredibly irate guy just kind of like steaming, grab it off me, have a go at me in front of everyone. And it was just like, okay. Just going to take it on the chin. It's his, not mine. Fine. Fast forward about a year and a half after that, I got a skateboard. Very randomly. Didn't have to pay for it. Just boom, it appeared. Um, like magic. Um, because I'm a hippie, I like to think it's the universe. But um, yeah. Um, so, and it wasn't a brand new one. I didn't care. And I went to the local place to learn how to skateboard. I didn't tell my friends because, um, you know, like, eh, scribe, you're going to learn how to skateboard, like, even though you're not six years old. And it's like, yeah, and I don't care. Um, went in there. I was, yeah, I was not six years old. And uh, it's just like, do you know what? I don't care. I'm going to do this. And then I fell off. And I fell off really badly. And, um, and I got the fear. And it happens. And we all get the fear in like different areas. In a lot of ways, skateboarding is a lot like life. It's a lot like comedy. It's a lot like um, love life. Sometimes you're going to fall. Sometimes it's going to be awful. Heck, you know, skateboarding is a lot like when you're a baby and you're learning how to walk. The first few times are not going to be perfect, are they? So, um, but you just have to get back and you have to do it. And it's fine. And, um... Yes, the skateboard, and um, I just ever since lockdown started, I just remember saying to myself, I'm going to go back to that place that does the skateboarding lessons. I am going to get back on that skateboard. I am going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then out of nowhere, I got a brand new skateboard, like completely brand spanky new. Like, look, it's completely new. And um, yeah literally on my doorstep um so i'd like to think it's the universe because it's certainly not my ex randomly gifting me um you know all that ex all that ex no there's no way that an ex of mine could um just put it on my doorstep but yeah anyhow new skateboard and um you know, i'd be saying to myself right it's a sign i'm gonna get back on my skateboard as it were I am going to go and do the lessons. I am going. Go I am committing to this properly, and um, yeah, which means that I have an extra skateboard. And today is the day that non-essential shops have reopened. And I remember saying to myself, right, I'm going to take it to the charity shop. I'd like it to go to a good home, but still, yeah, I want it to go to a good home. Saturday. I went out and got some food, I wore the mask, I wore the gloves, don't at me, and um, the buses were stopped because, you know, a certain counter protest to protect statues that were already protected, and um, yes, and I didn't want to get on the tube 
because yeah and um the bag was not light and i just uh, i thought right gonna get a taxi taxi and um taxi stopped hello mr taxi driver and i offered him in oh thank you very much he said um we started chatting and then i remembered i had extra like tonic water because a mate of who works at the place where i go to get food just gave me some tonic water um i offered some to mr taxi driver he's like oh wow i i i like tonic water i have it with my gin um I think my daughter drinks my gin and my tonic water, and I was like, "Well, daughter's gonna daughter." And he said, uh, and he said that um, he brought out his skateboard, and um, he tried fixing it. Uh, he put it out on the living room table, and he wanted to teach his daughter how to do it. And he said, because with this lockdown, myself and my mates, we've all rediscovered things that um, we really love doing, and I think that's true of a lot of us. I was like, "Yeah, I hear this." He said, and I put it out on the table, I fixed it, and then the next day I think my daughter took it and she's lost it, and it's just, yeah, and I was like, I'm really sorry to hear this. And it was just like massive ding, 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 you know, and I said, without thinking, I have a spare skateboard, I was going to take it to the charity shop, but I want it to go to a good home. If you want it, I'd really like you to have it. Are you sure? Yeah, of course I'm sure. I wouldn't offer if I was sure. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. So, we got back to mine. I got out um, my debit card to pay and asked how much it was. And he said, oh, I forgot to put the meter on. It's free. Oh. Um, and he was so lovely. He actually um, took my shopping bag and brought it up. And... Um, so I got out the skateboard and he took one look at it and he said, it even looks like the skateboard that my mate has. And just seeing him get on it and just like ride it again. Like, Are you sure? He was like, yes, please. I want it to go to a good home. Please take it. And I said, and he just, we looked at each other for more than it is comfortable in English social polite situations. And I said, I'll tell you what, take it with you promise me you'll have adventures on it and I promise I will get on my skateboard as well and um, he did so that's proof that you do good and good comes back so I'm going to get back on my skateboard and I hope that Mr Taxi Driver has lots of really happy times with it I'm not going to name him because the internet but if you're watching Mr Taxi Driver I promised you promised we promised so you know happy skateboarding skateboarding is not a crime all true things happen and good really does come back to you when you give it out.